Hi, this is Lindsay Roper. Um, I am using an iPad um, and demonstrating the use of the Puppet Pals app. Um, so when you're using the iPad, when you have the app downloaded, um, it'll show up on your home screen. If you click on it, um, it will open the app. In the app here, first you're able to click on any saved shows that you have. Um, there aren't any right now, but if you save anything recorded in here, you can go back and look at them here. Um, also here you have more characters. More characters is mostly just in-app purchases. Um, they have along the side, there's some different um, themes. There's different characters and things that you can use um, in the app. So if you're interested in those purchases, that's where you would find those. Um, but the basic free app, if you press here to start where it says, um, it'll let you select some actors and um, a place to um, for the setting of your story. So I have already selected here the characters that I wanted to use. The basic pack is sort of a fairy tale pack. So I've chosen the princess, a prince, a chipmunk, um, a dragon, and a witch lady. Um, press next here. Um, these next and back buttons help you to navigate um, through the app. Also here I have selected, this is one of the scenes. These are all the free scenes here. One of the really nice things too about this app, um, both on the actors and on the backdrops is that there's a spot here where you can add a backdrop or an actor from your photos. So if you have taken pictures of um, yourself or of your students, you can add those here into the app and you can use your students as actual characters in the story. Um, so that's nice. So once you've selected your actors and your backdrops, if you hit next, then it will show up this screen um, for you to be able to start working on your story. Um, the characters, you can use your fingers to kind of change the size of them. I'm going to make Mr. Chipmunk small. Um, oh, this also, this bar here scrolls in if you want to see close to the story, if you want to include um, the whole screen. When you watch the movie later, um, it will look like this. Um, but this allows you to be able to kind of move the characters in and off, in and out of the screen. Um, this is quite, sort of like an offstage spot over here. Um, I'm going to make the prints a little bit bigger. Let's see how big the princess is. I'll make her a little bit bigger. Which lady seems like a good size. Dragon definitely needs to be bigger. Um, okay, and then just sort of move these characters off to the side for when you need them. Um, so to start a story, I want the princess and the chipmunk um, to start off our story. Um, so once you have things ready, you can go ahead and press the record button up here uh, to get your story started. Once upon a time, Miss Penelope, the princess, was walking through the forest with her chipmunk friend Jacques. As they were walking along, Princess Penelope realized, Jacques, I think we might be lost. Whatever will we do? Hmm, I don't know, said Jacques. As they walked through, they came upon an ugly witch. <gasps> Miss Witch, um, excuse me, do you think you could give us some directions to help us get through the forest? Ah, yes, my pretty, I'd be happy to give you some directions. Follow me. And she headed off into the forest. The princess and Jock followed her along. The princess was very trusting and seemed to think that Miss Witch only had best intentions, but Jacques wasn't so sure. I don't think I trust her, Jacques told the princess. Oh, nonsense. I'm sure she's quite nice. I bet she's just trying to take us through a shortcut or something, she said, as the forest got darker and darker. As they wandered along, they lost sight of the witch, and suddenly they came upon a dragon. Rawr, roared the dragon. What are you doing in my forest, princess? The dragon asked. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, screamed Jacques, and he ran away. I'm so sorry, said the princess. I'm just lost. I'm just trying to find my way back. The dragon got closer and closer and closer. He opened his mouth wide to blow fire at the princess. Just as he opened his mouth... The prince came! Dun, da, da, dun. Dragon, you will not harm the princess, he said. Oh, yeah, said the dragon. The prince ran forward and 
stuck his spear into the dragon's mouth. Ah! cried the dragon, and he flew away. Oh, you saved me, said the princess. Oh, just doing my prince duties, the prince said. Oh, ah, uh, thanks, thanks for saving us, said Jacques. And the prince and the princess lived happily ever after. The end. You just go ahead and stop the story. Um, ideally, you would have an iPad where the microphone is working. Unfortunately, this iPad, the microphone does not work. Um, so, but you have the green button up here is play, re the red button is record again, this one is to save. Um, so here if I play the story, um, unfortunately since the microphone doesn't work, you cannot hear any sound. Oh. As they were walking along. Never mind, it works. Realized, oh, shock, I think we might be lost. Whatever will we do? Hmm, I don't know, said Jacques. They walked through, they came upon an ugly witch. <gasps> this witch? Um, excuse me, do you think you could give us some directions to help us get through the forest? Ah, yes, my pretty. I'd be happy to give you some directions. Follow me. And she headed off into the forest. The princess and Jacques followed her along. The princess was very trusting and seemed to think that Miss Witch only had best intentions, but Jacques wasn't so sure. I don't think I trust her, Jacques told the princess. Oh, nonsense. I'm sure she's quite nice. I bet she's just trying to take us through a shortcut or something, she said, as the forest got darker and darker. As they wandered along, they lost sight of the witch, and suddenly they came upon a dragon. Rawr! roared the dragon. What are you doing in my forest, princess? The dragon asked. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, screamed Jacques, and he ran away. I'm so sorry, said the princess. I'm just lost. I'm just trying to find my way back. The dragon got closer and closer and closer. He opened his mouth wide to blow fire at the princess. Just as he opened his mouth, the prince came. Dun, da, da, da. Dragon, you will not harm the princess, he said. Oh, yeah, said the dragon. The prince ran forward and stuck his spear into the dragon's mouth. Ah, cried the dragon, and he flew away. Oh, you saved me, said the princess. Oh, just doing my prince duties, the prince said. Oh, ah, uh, thanks. Thanks for saving us, said Jacques. And the prince and the princess lived happily ever after. The end. So I guess the lesson learned there is make sure your volume is turned up and the microphone might be working. So um, this app here, specifically using these stories, is a really great way to help your students with um, in second grade with writing standard number three, which says write narratives in which they recount a well-elaborated event or short sequence of events, include details to describe actions, thoughts, and feelings, use temporal words to signal event order, and provide a sense of closure. Um, so this story is an example. I had a beginning. Um, conflict in the middle and then a resolution at the end. Obviously the dragon was the conflict and the prince coming to save her was the resolution. Um, this app would be used really well, um, especially in storytelling. Um, also it could be used in any other, um, in any other content areas really, especially if you were able to purchase some other packs. There was holiday packs, there was political packs, there was lots of different ones. Um, if not, you could always take pictures. So if you just took a picture of your students or if you took a picture of, um, you know, downloaded a picture off of the internet, off of Creative Commons, um, using, that had pictures of like Abraham Lincoln or some of the past presidents, you could use it for history reports or you could um, download science pictures um, and do similar things. Um, I think this app is really valuable, and I think it's great for students to be able to use this um, to create their stories. I'm just going to save this here, um, so then I can give it a title, and I'm going to title it Princess Penelope Pen Penelope
Yes, I would. Okay, so it's asking me now if I'd like to view my saved videos and see this is where I have them saved. You can also export them. Um, you can play them onto your big screen. You know, if you just plug it in with your iPad or you can download it to your download these videos to your computer and you can share them and send them to others. Thanks.